Hi, today we're going to talk about the tool called Rotate and the benefits of uh, using Rotate to come out with different design. And also on top of that, I'm going to show you another tool called the uh, Pathfinder tool. So I have here on my artboard a simple shape of an oval. And by using the Rotate tool and the Pathfinder, I will show you how to come out with different shape from this basic uh, oval shape. You are able to come out with this kind of uh, different intricate design by simply using the rotate tool and the pathfinder tool. Okay, stay tuned. So the first uh, shape I'm going to show you is just a simple oval shape. And to create that, of course, you go to your shape tool, use the ellipse tool and then click and drag i already uh, had this uh, 0.5 inch create a rotate a repeating rotate copy of this oval shape all you need to do is just access the transform under object transform and click on rotate and then you are going to have a dialog box showing this angle the options and the preview Right now, I set it up to 30 degrees, and bear in mind that you have 360 degrees, so you have a number that is divisible by 360 degrees, and and 30 is one of them. I'll, I'll end up with at least 12 copies of this oval shape. So click copy, and there you have your first copy of the oval shape, and then all you need to do is just uh, press on Command D on your keyboard, and keep on duplicating the uh, shape so right now from the simple uh, oval shape I have made, I have here a multiple copy of that uh, oval this is my first shape of uh, using the uh, rotate tool now how do I come out with different uh, variation of this combination all I have to do is just copy and paste shortcut is command C and command V on your keyboard so what you can do is use your color put the color on your on the stroke and it's up to you you can use the uh, gradient tool you can you you can put a flat uh, color in this case I can do it this way so basically I have a white fill and a gradient uh, color on my stroke this is the one I have to change let me access my colors for the gradient I'm going to put colors on the stroke so I need to come out with a different color to access the gradient color and to put colors on the stroke with the color or stroke you have to have a swatch um, available for you. this is the swatch I'm going to use the fading sky so that is the second um, variation of the uh, oval shape now let me show you the pathfinder again uh, control C, uh, command C and command V to duplicate the shape. I'll just reduce the three shape right so that it will fit into my artboard. So my next uh, tool I'm going to use is called the Pathfinder tool. The Pathfinder tool, it, it lets you uh, do things like uh, combine the shape, it trims it, it create intersect uh, images, it, it also create exclude if you see four dots below the uh, properties panel that means to say there are more options available for you under the pathfinder tool the same thing with align if you click on the four dots you will see more options okay remember the alignment tool and if you click on the pathfinder and there, and there you have more options underneath it so this time i think i'm going to use this uh, uh, the divide tool so the divide tool actually creates some overlapping uh, images of the oval shapes what I'm going to do is put colors again on this group of oval shape and see what the, what happens from there it has a different uh, look compared to the one I have done on top here so basically these are all just one shape and then I'm able to create different variation from the oval so from the let me copy this one again and from here I will use this last uh, pathfinder and this is code exclude and then let us see how this thing turns out with the uh, gradient tool 
It's almost the same, except you have more intricate uh, overlapping shapes among all those uh, different uh, oval. So there you go, you have different uh, variation of the Pathfinder. What I suggest is try to experiment this and see what you can come up with. You don't have to use the eight rings, you can actually just use the two or three and then find out what kind of interesting image you'll end up with by using the Rotate and the Pathfinder tool. Okay, thank you. And next I will demonstrate to you the other tools called the Paintbrush and the Blob tool.